An Art Journal Tutorial by Creative Katie, Karen Birchall, entitled, Don't Take These Moments for Granted. Now this page, I tested out my brand new Delusions paint applying with the blending tool. And this is the brand new color Pomegranate Seed. It is delicious. It is a very, very rich red burgundy, very royal. So I had put that on a non-gesso paper in my altered book, and it goes on so beautifully. It makes me think that I'm going to do this, um, use the Delusions paints on all the pages. And I'm using my Artist Loft Gold and putting it on the blending tool and rubbing it nicely across my script stamp and I'm just putting the gold there the burgundy color just reminded me of royalty and velvet red velvet rich deep so I'm just kind of playing that up doing one of my old favorites and putting the acrylic paint onto the stamps with the blending tool really works well um, even better than using the um, using a makeup sponge. So now I'm using the black delusions with the blending tool and I try this stencil but it's very wibbly and wobbly um, so I decided I'm not going to do it. It'll be too trying. So I got out this stencil. This is from, I don't remember the name, but it is from Crafters Workshop and I'm plus putting it on with the blending tool. And this, I'm getting used to my Delusions paints uh, and using them for stenciling. This is what this book is all going to be about. It's just trying the Delusions paint, figuring out how I can use the Delusions paint with the styles and the things that I like to do. And I really like using the stencils, but <clears throat> with the Delusions paint, but you have to really hold the stencil down. So I'd recommend even taping it down a little bit if it matters. Like you saw, if it's um, if you do make a mistake, you if you have a baby wipe ready, you can go over the over it and it removes very very easily as long as you don't rub too hard. So you saw me cleaning the stencil right away and cleaning up the blending tool so it doesn't cake on. So this is where I left it for a while, went and did another page, which you'll see that tutorial. And then I came back and I had some ideas. I went through my folder of cutouts that I have. Now this is a stamp that I took, stamped on white paper, increased the size with the photocopier, and then saved it as a PDF and printed it out on um, deli paper. So even though I really, I prefer ripping, this was already cut and that wasn't possible. So I'm just cutting off some of the excess. I've had this for a while, this keychain with family and memories on it, and just never was able to find the perfect page for it. And I found that today. So I'm gonna put that there. And I also had words from another stamp that you'll see later. So I take my gold paint, I'm thinking, okay, the gold is really going to show up well. And I'm just using the makeup sponge to apply the paint. And I'm thinking, okay, I see a lot of this black coming through. This is really good. I apply it down with gel medium. And I wanted to see how the gel medium shows, if it shows on the Delusions paint. I did wipe it a little bit on the other areas to keep it clean but it doesn't leave a shiny residue and you can't tell where that is. Now as I'm looking at this I'm looking okay I like the black shadows in this. Um, I kind of go over it. I'm going to wrap that use the credit card just push that into the into the corners get it nice and tight using the credit card to just push it down. So there's the comment that I'm going to use. And I've done the same thing with that stamp 
is just blowing it up to make it larger. And then I decide that I want to add a little bit more color and I have a kind of a bronze, it's a Martha Stewart bronze paint, although it looks very much like the gold, and I apply that. And as I apply, I realize the transparency of the paint has disappeared and it has become more opaque and you can't see the black anymore. And we're going, well, it's done. We'll just continue and see where we go. And I, and I think I solved the problem later on. So I'm using my Posca pen here and I'm just tracing the letters that were there and making them come to the front. At this point I still don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it. So you start with what you do know and inspiration tends to come. So I'm just outlining it. I'm just giving it some black lines and details. So this is kind of a keychain and not happy with how it looked, how the string went through. I fix that as well later, but I leave it in the now and then. I thought the Posca pens were permanent, but they're, they're not. You can remove them for quite some time um, after you put them on. So I'm just doing a scribble in here so it just looks like it's a chain of some sort. I'm kind of winging it. I have really no def definite plan. I'm not sure what to do here, so I'm going to outline the heart that's in there. Outline the outside of it. Okay, there's some circles there. Sorry, I'm off camera. There's the word memories on this part of the key. I don't remember what the saying was that went with this stamp. It had gotten used on another sheet, another page. So we're deciding to go scribble again loosely, make it look a little bit messier, a little bit more. Thing. Okay, now I have an idea here. Basically, I'm doodling. I'm thinking, okay, these are kind of like round beads, some texture in there. So, thought, okay, well, let's draw some flowers. I'm kind of liking it right now. I'm thinking, okay, this is really working. Didn't like that, but see, look up. I've had it there for quite a while and I was quite able to remove most of it. Just kind of smudging up around the key. Off camera, I'm, I've gotten the Delusions paint, the pomegranate seed, and I'm just painting in some of the places that should you should see the background through the holes and the links. So there are the letters. I'm kind of deciding if I'm really going to go with that quote. Not sure what I'm going to do next, so I get out my Stabila All pencil, and I'm just tracing around all of this and then you'll see me activating it with water. It really made this pop. Adding this black detailing just really set off the richness of the gold and the richness of the burgundy-ish background and it just made this thing pop. And I wanted it to look kind of antique -y, so I was quite happy with the end result. It, it almost looks 3D in, in real life.
and you see me turning the book. Turn the book however you need to to get to where you need to go. There's nothing saying the book has to stay one way or another. I did go back and add a little bit more um, of the gold text that so it's kind of on top of the black stenciling. I, I wanted to push that back. I wasn't when I put the black stenciling on, I didn't have a solid idea about what I was wanting to do and create with this page. And I wasn't really happy with the pick, so I wanted to push it back. So I did the gold stamp on top of on top of that. So I'm using my Neo Color 2 black, and I'm just edging the paper again to make it give it that border, make it stand stand out, frame frame the picture. And that's what you do when you're not sure of what you're going to do for the next step do something that you do know and as you keep working ideas come to you I'm really liking the richness of this page the black the gold the burgundy of the pomegranate seed paint So I've used the gel medium and I've put the saying on, but I didn't like the white. So I'm just using the pomegranate seed paint, thinning it out a little bit with water and putting several layers on top of the quote here. I did not, I don't want to see the white or the clear, any of it. So I kind of did that, dried it, so it just kind of blends in. Now I could leave it here with the black or just go over it with a black marker, but I decide I wanted to give something a try. So I get my gold paint in a little bottle and mix it with water. And the consistency is kind of trial and error. adding a little bit more. I do add some of the um, Martha Stewart pearlized paint as well. Now I have these metal tips that I got with the bottles and they're different thicknesses and so I just attach that to the bottle, test it for consistency and now I'm just going to write with the bottle. So it's kind of my version of the fine liners. And you can get these, I've seen them on Amazon. So this kind of gives a little bit of a 3D effect and re really brings that gold into play. So I'm quite happy with my decision to do that. It takes a long time to dry. I also dotted the little knobs on the key. And then I decided to go around and dry, do dots all around the edge, just to seem to need something a little bit more. Of course, because it's thinned paint, it takes longer to dry. So I did set this aside and let it dry before trying to move it or close the book. So here's a picture of the finished project. I'm really quite happy with this page. I love the colors. I love the gold and the black and the, and the pomegranate seed. Thank you very much for watching. If you're not a subscriber, please take the time to hit the subscribe button and then check the option to be notified so you won't miss any upcoming videos. Thanks again. See you for the next video.